Hi folks, uh, watercolours, I've had a, two or three days on oils, uh, so I've got some uh, Winsor Newton, £90, still got a few sheets of this left, can't get any more of it, £90, I think this is the rough one, a little rough painting right? that's for sure, so I'll just give it a coat of water, As usual, nothing in my head. Nothing new about that. They wish me luck. I've got a a, a bid on uh, eBay on a Allegria, a kind of Canon Allegria web uh, camcorder, five oh six, and I hope I win the bid, and I hope this is as good as Alan Owen says it is. But the Legria 506, it does pause and record, and it is MP4, which Windows will recognise without having to to com compress it and uh, free me from this webcam, which is being pretty good, but it's it's not easy to set up, I have to say. So let's just put a bit of a oh, let's make the estuary scene. Get some nice. Nice paint on, nice raw sienna, just to warm it up. All right, we'll have a bit of, let's have a bit of alizarin in there. Right. Um, now we'll have some uh, bit of blue, bit of ultramarine. Make sure your paints all nicely, nicely mixed. Let's be keen now. We'll mix a bit of light red with that. No, no, just a bit of. So if you go into a lake or water, put put in some sky reflection in it while before the paint dries. A little bit of bit of blue. Put out the uh, loose hairs. Okay. Right, I'll uh, reclip the paper. Let's put it tight. Got my grandson coming back from school. He doesn't seem to be very well, so there might be a lot of painting going on today. Have to amuse him. He's eleven years old. My wife's gone down to pick him up, and I've got this bid coming in in about uh, fifty-five minutes. I've just cleaned my brushes. Uh, from the oil paints, I, I did clean them with a bit of uh, white spirit, but then I went and washed them with a bit of a small figure, followed by some dishwasher liquid to keep them all nice and soft. Now that's a bit overexposed, so we'll uh, change that. Uh, too bright. Paint is fairly light, but uh, maybe it's overexposing. No, 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 no. So this is why I want to get this camera. Right, well that seems to be about right. 
Okay, mate. You came down. Yeah, we'll cope with that. Right, I'll give it a bit of a dry. So I'll mute the sound. Bear with me. Okay, we'll put in some some hills. I've done loads and loads of these these made up ones. They're they're fun to do, and they all end up differently. So I'm not worried about repetition. Uh, so let's have some nice distance there. Just distant hills. And um, we'll put in some let's have some yellow in there. Cage okay, yellow, slightly greeny. A bit of, bit of sienna. Bit of raw sienna now. Just make the background a bit different. Now, because I don't, uh, draw a line for the horizon. I have to sort of spend a bit of time straightening, straightening my mine up. I've got um, at the moment uh, 40 paintings on my new Etsy shop. I've had it for a month now and sold some paintings. I'll, I'll leave a link in the, uh, on the video, on the YouTube video. Let's get in some nice rich dark now, the blue. Because that's wet, I'm going very thick with the pigment. Um, too much water on the brush. So a bit of Payne's grey as well. Uh, he's just come come in. Hello, Granddad. He's pretty good though, we don't often have him home from school. I think the cough might be something to do with Monday morning. Right, let's put a sort of an island in there. Or shall we have a bit? No, let's do something different. We'll put it, this will be a sort of an estuary. So we'll use, I'll use Frank Clark's ink on this. All right, so a bit of, uh, bit of green. A 
took so much water off of that. Bit of grass. Because this paper is so rough, I know it's only 90 pound weights, but it's a terrific paint paper. So it just goes to show you don't need to to buy expensive heavyweight papers to do all this, provided you you stretch them when they grow. Look, this is perfectly flat. All right, let's get some good dark in there. Just putting this uh, grassy stuff in. The shadow there. <coughs> I'll go back to the other hike. Maybe the uh, the Ron Ransom medium hey got a cup of tea here. Excuse me, one other. A bit of burnt umber, I think. Ah, oh, well, let's um, let's put in a bit of bit of a something. Something up there. The burst here and with the burnt umber. Plenty of sienna. The sand. Pains. Oh, I've got a bit of, bit of shadow. I'm having a great difficulty. The paper is so absorbent and rough that it's quite hard getting water out of the brush. But that doesn't mean we have to go and slush it all over the place. Nasty hair there. I'm going to try and get that off right away. Uh, gotcha. Look what it does. Uh, I hope that that, that will bleed. The, the the colour will bleed a little bit. Well, just in case it doesn't, I'll put a.
Okay. Put a bit of dry brush across there, a bit of that bluey pinky. Right, now we'll put in a little bit of reflection on that reflection, or that, yeah, it's just what it is, reflection. Right, that'll do. I'll give that a dry, a quick dry, then we can go and put a bit of detail in this foreground. I know some of you are terrified by foregrounds by putting them in. Okay, so foregrounds, do quickly, with my best advice. If you labour them and overwork them, then it just ruins the whole effect. So what I'm going to do is put in some sort of grasses in, in here. So just a bit of Payne's Grey. So the marron grass tends to be quite dark, I think, so we're just... Uh, Need plenty of water in this. It's quite, quite, quite hard. I'm not going to do it like that. It's not sort of working. <coughs> I use my large hake, so let's get some nice, good dark, rich. You see how how the paint dries much lighter than when you put it on. Right, let's uh, yeah, I'd have to. Oh, I'll use a different rigger, swig a bit more tea. Right. 
It doesn't sound very old, does he, if you can hear him. It's a sort of stubby. Right, it's on the other side now. Plenty of thick, well, no, not thick paint, wet paint. Just making this up, I'm just following the brush really. I'm not thinking too much about it. I'll put I'll put some uh, dead leaves on these. more on that one. I don't want them to look the same but uh, there's a bit of a danger there that they will look the same. Uh, well, I'll just put a bit of uh, I, mean, you, I don't think I've used this three quarter brush yet. This one, I just want to put in a bit of a, like a jetty. Or just a little bit of a something a bit different. Those are two in there. Uh, it's a few little boats there just just on that that that, that reflection uh, we'll uh, put in a bit of gouache
Lovely brush. Okay, now we'll just put in a few little, uh, uh, use this uh, little hake. So just a, just a cup, bit of dark, dark green. Um, Oh, that's not working, is it? Get rid of that one. Like that, that's a hill there. Okay, that'll do. I think we've got a little picture there. The wind's got into that sail there, haven't it? <laughs> a bit. Uh, right, how's the picture? Oh, that's quite. Quite a reasonable for reproduction. <coughs> I put I put a bird in. Now, as you know, I don't know much about boats. So they're just things in the landscape. I'll sign it. Uh, then I'll put a mount on it. We'll have a look at it, see, see how it is. Then I will take my lead. Oh, so it's a bit white, I think. Because of where I'd normally put my signature, it's too dark. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's put that on there. 20 minutes to go for one. Um, right, let's put. Uh, oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. Occupational hazard, I'm afraid. Oh, they're just about. It's a lovely double mount, but it's just a bit too, too wide. But anyway, I'll leave it on there. Hope you enjoyed that. Probably just a touch too bright. Let's just knock that down just a little bit. Uh, white balance. I don't think that's too bad. It's a little uh, one on a Monday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye bye.